Welcome back guys. So I just got back from Target, went a little crazy on getting some stuff for some future giveaways, you know? And I found something pretty cool that I did not know existed. So let's set all this awesome stuff aside. And what I am talking about today is, I know I've done a video on this before, but RDS Industries, they make some pretty flippin' sweet cases, right, for your systems. Nintendo Switch one, I actually have three different versions. Love this one. We had our original NES Classic case. Pretty sweet stuff. And then they put out a case for the SNES Classic. Awesome stuff. Well, with the re-release of the NES Classic, I guess they decided to change it up a little bit. So while I was wandering around Target, you know, finding some random stuff that I thought was interesting and was clearanced, by the way. Oh man, I really wanted these so bad. But these aren't, this, this is not what we're here to talk about. Boom, brand new version of the NES Classic Edition case. So when you take a look at the first version, you know, it's a big boxy square. And my main criticism with this original case was this squishy styrofoam stuff that, I don't know, it can get warped and torn pretty easily. Uh, it's the same kind of material used in, in a lot of the cases for like miniature games and, you know, collecting. And I just know from experience these things rip over time. And I was fine with it because everything fit in there nicely. You know, got the controllers. I don't know where my adapter is right now, but it fits right there nicely. Um, have all the other cables in the little pouch here, some extension cables and whatnot. Everything fits nicely in there. But when the Super Nintendo version came out, and I was like, dang it, you know, they don't, they're not the same shape and size. I kind of wish it was uh, similar. But then I was pleasantly surprised with this one and how they up their game with the, uh, you know, how everything was put together. Instead of using that foam, it's all, you know, like molded, uh, you know, plastic or whatever they used with some material over it. And I really dug that. So I saw this and I was like, dude, this looks just like the Super Nintendo version. And that's what I'm really hoping for. It looks like it in the pictures. It does say it's for the NES and SNES Classic. This one was mixed in with the Super Nintendo ones. Um, and I was like, wait, they got a black one for the Super Nintendo? What's going on here? And then I seen this one, I saw the NES Classic, everything on it, and I was like, dude, heck yeah. And the little tag there, it's got the NES Classic logo on it, whereas the original one didn't have anything on the, uh, the zipper. So I was like, this, I, I have to grab this. It was 20 bucks. Let's go ahead and open her up. Oh, and then it's zip tied. That's the one thing I was not prepared for, damn it. Okay, like five minutes later, knife, a little box cutter. So we'll go ahead and uh, try to carefully, carefully, there we go, cool. Get out of here. Now, moment of truth. Is this the same as Super Nintendo Classic Edition version? Oh, yes it is. Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, okay. That is crazy. Um, I, I wish we had Smell-O-Vision here. So, I'm still happy with this. I'm still super excited that I got this. But I read online that people were saying the case on the inside smelled like cigarette smoke. And I used to be an ex-smoker, and when you smoke cigarettes, you really don't smell cigarette smell. Um, and I gave up cigarettes many years ago, and my sense of smell for cigarette smoke is extremely high. And this, oh my God, it does have that cigarette smoke smell. That is freaking crazy. It really, the interior, like outside, I, I didn't really smell anything. Inside, it freaking smells like cigarette smoke. I don't think that's what it is, but that's what it smells like. It smells exactly like cigarette smoke. That is freaking nuts. Ah, 
whatever, right? So let's put that in there. Um, our controllers go up top here. Our short ass cabled controllers. Go ahead and put those there. You do have another pouch, I think, to put your cables in. I'm not sure how the uh, the picture on the box shows. Yeah, pretty much shows to tuck them in there to that middle pouch. So that's what we'll do. Tuck all those in there. I gotta find my power adapter for this thing. Right, let's see, we got that's our power cable. Uh, we had a, we had a bunch of uh, extensions here. I think I got like three extensions right there. And that's it. This this case can can get out of here. So this, you put your little power cable in here. And then you would put your brick over here. I can't find mine at the moment, but let's uh, let's borrow the uh, this one. How does it go in there? It's definitely a little different shaped than it shows on the uh, the actual box there. If you can see that, it's 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 showing the shape of the. Uh, the Super Nintendo one. So there is a difference here. Um, the shape is a little different, it looks like, for this little tray area. Wow, that smell is really coming through, but I, I guess your, your power adapter would go there. And then you could fit, you know, whatever else you needed, some extension cables, that kind of thing. And then boom. You're in it to win it with matching cases. Your Nintendo Switch right there. I love that the logos are like that. I kind of wish uh, the Super Nintendo one had the, uh, the Super Nintendo Classic logo on the front here, but that's fine. I mean, kind of mimicking that. So, I mean, nice. I really dig that they came out with this. I don't dig that it stinks. Like it does in the inside, as we see, there is some minor differences to how the to how the tray is, and you can put either Super Nintendo Classic in there, which does fit a lot snugger. It's in there; it's not going to move, just like the the uh, original one kind of would just sit in there. This one, the the NES, it just kind of lays in place. If you turned it upside down, it is going to fall out. It, it's it's in there snug. It's in there snug. But this one's just kind of, it's its in there. You're not going to flip it upside down like an idiot and, and drop it. So pretty cool stuff. If you want to check this out, I found mine locally at Target mixed in with the Super Nintendo ones. And that's that. Pretty cool little uh, accessory for your new NES Classic Edition. Really do appreciate you guys stopping in. Smash that like button. Subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my Patreon for some exclusive awesome stuff. We're always doing cra crazy giveaways exclusive content, all sorts of cool stuff over there. With that said, I will catch y'all next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.